everyone so and so it has been a minute since I've recorded last but I have a lot going on okay so first off today has just been crazy it's like the craziest Tuesday ever you guys know that I get off at noon and then I try to get a whole bunch of things done like the chicken coop and oh my goodness but I had to go to the dentist my tooth is killing me not so much my tooth more my gums above the tooth so found out I had a root canal a couple of years ago the infection was not completely taken care of so now I'm having to go back in because it has reinfected the tooth a little it's trying to spread over to the tooth that I thought I was having problems with so I have to go to an endodontist they have me on amoxicillin to kind of jump start the infection um, getting that cleared up and head over to the endodontist in a couple of weeks oh lordy guys if you know me I do not like going to the dentist and they told me that they have nitrous oxide but they don't completely um, like knock you out so I don't know how that's gonna go because the last couple of times they've tried to lidocaine like a block it doesn't work for me and I don't know why so either it does not last very long or it just doesn't it just doesn't work so by the time they go to start drilling and stuff maybe i won't feel it then but then like two seconds later i'm feeling it again and they used a whole syringe i don't know how much they're supposed to use but i know at one point on my last root canal they were like oh we can't use anymore we've used the max amount and we were only halfway through the root canal so i just don't know what to do i've never used nitrous oxide before comment below i'm hoping i can have this up before my root canal because i really want to know what y'all think like does it work guys because i've never had it i guess the other form you know what it's called aka is also known as laughing gas so I don't know why they haven't given it to me before um, but that's an option um, I just have to request it so let me know what you guys think because I'm really thinking about it now the kids are asleep in the car that's why my car is running um, the kids are asleep in the car I'm about to move them into the house I have a whole list of things to do on top of making dinner um, oh I need to pull the salmon out so I have to do that I need to pull the salmon out so I can make my honey garlic lemon salmon it's not mine technically the recipe is Angela Braniff and Sierra Braniff's oh my lord it's so good mmm okay so if you haven't seen that go watch them it's on one of their meal videos anyways I will record that but I need to go pull the salmon out so it can be defrosting. It is like three o'clock. So I only have two hours until I need to start cooking because Sean leaves here at six. So I need to get the chicken coop done, but I need to go pull the salmon out first. Salmon, chicken coop. Sayla needs to do her 30 minute pickup. I have this potted plant it's not really potted this plant that my aunt gifted me that i want to plant but i don't really know too much about them i do i did write up that it's a perennial and then i did write, read that it likes like a lot of sunlight and a lot of um water but i also read that it kind of spreads and it's easily like invasive so tell me guys what do you think it's a grape hyacinth hyacinth whatever i was gonna go to my local um greenhouse once they opened up their first day is the first week of um what's next month april the first week of april i think it's like april 3rd is their first day so i'm excited for that that's what I've been waiting on. That's where I'm going to get my vegetables. I still need to work on the vegetable garden. I don't know if I've shown y'all the garden area beside my house, the flower bed, since we put the pavers down. So we just did pavers all the way down. My daughter and son took the little spade and did like little 
dollops of dirt on each one just being silly but yeah so I don't know should I do it here or should I do it down in the fountain because it spreads I don't think it gets high like I don't think it gets tall it's only like gets like six to eight inches I think but it spreads so I don't know I don't know what to do okay in the comments tell me because I need advice <sighs> okay on to oh taking the salmon out on to taking the salmon out and then on to the chicken coop <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this salmon out it's pre-packaged this way I just found it in the frozen section um, I want to say at Aldi's like this go back to my Aldi haul I think it was in my Aldi haul and I'm just gonna let that kind of they're so frozen. I hope I get to do this tonight. Lordy. Let's put that. I know I have a list. So, um, I've got the salmon dethawing for dinner. We're going to do the chicken coop school with Sayla. Laundry. I need to plant that flower probably while I'm out doing the chicken coop. Um, dishes during dinner. I need to pull out all of my um, tax forms because tomorrow we're going to try and go do our taxes um, and Sayla's 30 minute cleanup. So, we'll see how that goes. So I'm about to clean the chicken coop out. I am going to try and leave the chickens in the coop today only because um, my other dog, Halo, is out and she's very tempted to get the chickens. Look at that. Yes, Halo, we're talking about you. She wanted to come get in the camera. No, we're not peeing. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how I go about doing this. I just take this tote that we don't use anymore, and I take like a, a dish glove, cleaning glove. And normally I have a shovel, but I don't know what Sayla and Walker do with a shovel. I just clean. What I'm doing is I used to completely, don't pick me. supposed to have treats so typically this is all clean because they don't use the nesting box anymore so I just start throwing so I had that completely empty I just start throwing all the clean bedding to the front before I add more bedding on top of it because it was just a waste it really was y'all aren't using your nesting boxes Yes, I see you making your nest. You're supposed to be using this. This box. Bye, Felicia. Her name isn't Felicia. It's actually... What? Who are you? That's Carla. No, that's not Carly. That's Carly in the middle. That is Rose, who I was talking to. You lay an egg in there. Alright, bye, Pekka. She thinks she's supposed to roost on whatever's highest. That's not food. That's not food. Hello. Goodbye. Looks like when their nesting box where they're supposed to be laying eggs is nice and clean with some clean bedding. Poke me in the butt. Don't. Don't poke me in the butt. Okay. So then I just add a little extra cushion. So I'm going to add about an inch of this red cedar bedding. I just really throw it in there and let it let them go at it, honestly, because they'll go in there and they'll move it how they want it. Hey, ma'am, Peckett, 
This is not a roosting bar. It's not. Hey. It's not a roosting bar. Thank you. She's like head hen. Everybody listen to me. I'm the head hen. I had to get this on camera because if you've ever met my dog Halo, you would never guess she would be acting like this. But she acts like a big puppy, like Rascal, when nobody else is around. Don't you, Halo? She says somebody's talking about me. And then Rascal's over here just being very calm, unlike him. And she's acting like the puppy. Rascal, what's up, bud? There's my Halo. There's my Halo. Halo. Hi. Is Rascal going to go for the ball? Yep, Rascal's going to take the ball. And back to being Mopey Eeyore. All constantly waiting. They see the bags. Okay, all right. Hey, can I get through the, the coop? All right, so that's what it looks like. Nothing, you know, spectacular. Just a whole bunch of bedding. Uh-oh! Don't pick up the bags! Don't pick up the bags! Okay, since they've been so good, they know that they get treats when Mommy cleans their bedding. So we've got Garden Grains by Flock Party. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Probably just gonna go ahead and give them the rest. Just gonna go ahead and give them the rest. There's not much left in there. Watch them go. There they go. That's their favorite. It has corn in it. Then. We always do some grit. This is to help them digest. And it just looks like some crushed granite. That's what it says it is. So, I mean, it just looks like it. See? We just do like a handful. Ah! I got you on the back. I'm sorry. And then... We lately have been doing just a little bit of oyster shell. It's supposed to promote, or yeah, promote good a. Hey, quit scratching on my foot. Gooper, like now I've got all, look. Girl, look at them. Okay, some oyster shell to promote egg health, calcium. So. do I've just been doing just a little bit maybe a half of what I do of the grit I do that once a day I know that's not a lot but they have this whole feeder full of food where's it at there it is we have a hanging feeder my husband actually created that let me go get their food taken care of look at them so you can tell about once a week is what we do in the feeder it's a pretty large feeder so with between the scrap that we give them and the treats that we give them this holds us out for about a week and then all I did was just unclip and clip this um, from a hook that my husband put in up on the um, floorboard of the coop so what I do is I have this container and this scoop. And literally all I do is fill it up. And there you go. So I don't know how many scoops that was because I wasn't counting. But that many scoops holds us over. For an entire week that can kind of give you an estimate on how much we feed these chickens but you know what they're worth it as many eggs as they've been giving us we're be, we've been getting anywhere from four to seven eggs these chickens have been giving us anywhere from four to seven eight eggs a day 
So, they're still kicking dirt at me and pecking me. Goodness, you think that they would appreciate me. <laughs> and then this, see if I can do it and show you. There is that little hook, and it just hooks. Ugh. Right there. This part, the chicken coop itself is clean. I do need to have my husband put that piece of wood back up here because this little part likes to get caught up on the door. Um, but besides that, I need my husband to do the water because I can't get it open. I just clean it out for them and he keeps it filled up. So now on to the trash can in the woods with the bedding. So I just made an executive order that I am going to plant this plant in my fountain. Because if it spreads, hopefully it'll just spread around the bottom of the fountain. So we will see what happens. All right. We gotta get to it because it's like 4.55. 4.55, I'm on it. It's very pretty and they smell very good. They're called Grape Hyacinth. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Let's see. My aunt bought them for me and let's see, full sun, six plus hours. So this will be good. So, I'm just going ahead and digging a spot it's kind of hard one-handed so I might put y'all down for a minute and get this dug up what was pretty cool guys is I don't know if you can see but I have um, not planted anything in here but or put anything in here but this um, area it looks like it still has some of that um, like potting soil like the little beads in it like potting soil does I'm just trying to get all these little roots out I think Oliver likes it. All right. So I'm going to gently pull this up, put this down in, and cover this bad boy up and see what happens. Oh, there's roots everywhere. Whew. Goodness. Life of a gardener. Just kidding. Not really, you know. I'm going to go ahead and leave just a little bit of room because I still want to put some, um, like I said, potting soil or gardening soil around. <coughs> around this beautiful girl. So, oh goodness, I'm sorry you guys. <coughs> Somebody wanted to help mama. Oliver, my Oliver, come here. Okay, so I'm going to leave some area underneath. So I could put that soil down, give it some food. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of water. And yeah, see how it does. She's so pretty. Oliver, there you go. She is so pretty. Very professional. Watering can. Oops, sorry girl. I don't mean to flood ya. I just won't give her any water tomorrow because it looks like I gave her too much. Sorry, girl. Okay, gardening tools everywhere needs to be cleaned up. So normally we would skin the salmon, but it would not skin without tearing all of the meat off. So we're gonna try it with the scaly part. We'll see how that goes. Dried it up, put some salt and pepper on it. So now I had some oil in this pan going. I'm just gonna lay two of these down and see how it cooks with that skin on. I have a second pot here. I'm gonna do the sauce in and I've got some water back here starting a boil for mac and cheese. And I turned the cool daddy on the fryer um, to do some breaded okra. So this is like the bre best breaded okra we have found. So if you have a piggly wiggly around you, get their breaded okra pick five. We're gonna see how this looks. And it's like falling apart, but that looks good. Picker honey I see. Mm. 
Alright, so that one kind of fell apart. Try again on the other two. Alright, so now that this one's starting to boil, I'm going to throw my noodles in. The noodles are in. Those are boiling. So it looks like the skin just kind of came off when we did this. So, kind of worked out. It's real pretty looking though. So we'll let that cook a little longer. Are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? I'm going to zoom in on your face. Are you laughing at me? you on there cooking and I noticed that my fryer is red and sugar so we're gonna throw some okra in there and get that cooking and pieces are just falling apart but they're almost done they're cooking pretty good this side looks really good um, at least it browned up really good and cooked really good so that's still boiling I stirred that I've got the okra going so now we're gonna go ahead and throw half a bar of butter in here and go ahead and start getting that melted along with a teaspoon or so of garlic. Go ahead and let that melt and brown. These pieces are just falling apart but they're almost done. They're cooking pretty good. This side looks really good. Um, at least it browned up really good and cooked really good. So that's still boiling. I stirred that. I've got the okra going. So now we're going to go ahead and throw half a bar of butter in here and go ahead and start getting that melted along with a teaspoon or so of garlic. Go ahead and let that melt and brown. more butter. I'm gonna do a Cheese is done up. We're just waiting on the sauce and another thing of okra. Let's let that thicken up. Oh, that's so good. Here's the finished product. I ended up um, breaking mine into pieces because I was trying to get the skin off. He left the skin on to see how it tastes. Um, mac and cheese and okra with that sauce over it. Oh my goodness, that sauce is so good. That's what makes it, guys. Okay, so let me spend some time with the husband trying to get all these tax forms pulled before tomorrow. Let me try and spend some time with him before he goes to work. There's so much more that needs to get done. That's the cool thing about homeschooling is we can do school after dinner after daddy leaves and all distractions are gone. Not that Sean is a distraction, but we want to spend that time with him when he is here. So it's nice. Um, we can wait to do school until after dinner today since there's a whole bunch to, you know, do. That's the good thing about homeschooling. You can be flexible. Okay. Time to eat dinner and relax. Do some dishes. Do some laundry. And Sayla still has to do her 30-minute pickup. Okay. See y'all next time. Make sure you subscribe, share, 
all of the things. Bye.